Anger has again erupted on the streets of Warsaw. Demonstrators clash with police over the Conservative government's new abortion law that effectively bans terminations in the country. One cannot deprive women of their rights. This is half of a nation. All of a sudden, half of the nation is deprived of their rights, of the right to make decisions about themselves. This is unacceptable. Protesters brought their fight to the Constitutional Tribunal, where the ruling was first announced in October. At the time, it was met with widespread protests, forcing the lawmakers to delay its implementation. But the recent announcement took many by surprise. I picked up about 10 of these calls during the night. Not all were from women. They were also from doctors and gynaecologists. Asking if it's in force, what should they do? The patient is ready for the procedure. Should I send her home? Abortion has become one of the most divisive issues for Poland since the Nationalist Law and Justice Party came to power in 2015. And while activists say the new law risks women's lives, others in the devoutly Catholic country disagree. There is a very adequate, realistic Polish saying that it's better to have ten children on your arm than one on your conscience. And I think this is part of our philosophy to protect life. Under the new rules, terminations will only be permitted in cases of rape and incest and when the mother's life or health is endangered. Doctors performing illegal abortions will face jail. And with no signs the law might change, more protests are expected. Jordan Butler, ABC News.